this is Angela McFarlane and you're stamping with AMAC. For this card, for the masking technique, I used it more as a background uh, to add a little bit of colour and stuff to the base of the card. Um, so I used Pool Party ink and a little bit of crumb cake as well. So you can use whatever colours you like. But um, for the second layer, I've just used soft suede and I've actually used soft suede ink for the stamping as well. So that was just to tie it in together, but I'm sure you'll find something that will match. Okay, so for the greeting, I used Art Gallery and I just used the Happy Birthday out of that. But you can use whatever you have. And for the main image, I used this beautiful big flower out of the Nature's Harvest set. But once again, you can substitute whatever you like for that. So to get started, uh, the piece that you will have is actually longer than we need for our actual card. And you'll see why in a minute. So after we have done the bits and pieces, we'll actually trim this down before we stamp the greeting. So it is the right width, but it is longer. So for this piece, you can either line it up on your grid paper or on your working surface. And then you'll have a scrap of paper that you'll also receive. And I would just tear it sort of down the middle you don't want a straight line you sort of want to you can guide it so you can get a little bit of shape in it so if it's starting to go a little bit too far one direction you can sort of cut it like that so now you can either use washi tape or some simple masking tape will do the trick now I want to um, have this shading come across about half of the card so if you just lift your card up you can actually see the outline of the card through the back and then what I'll do is get some masking tape and attach that to the back of the card don't press it too hard on your card when you pull the masking tape off it may sort of damage that part of the card a little bit but that's okay because uh, that will get stuck onto your other layer anyway so it won't really matter I'd also get a few little bits and just attach that down the bottom just to secure it in place and then what else I would do is get my masking tape and just go across the top of the card because we'll actually be cutting that off so it won't matter just to keep it securely in place and we'll also add some tape on the bottom just like the bottom five mil or few mil just to keep it in place so it doesn't move Okay, we have this taped from there, so this might still move a little bit, but that's okay. Now, as you see, the brush that I'm using, it's already got some blue on there, but I did clean my brush off, so there's no more ink coming out of that. You can wash your brushes in between use if you want to, but I generally pick a colour and I, and I go with it. So I'll just tap it onto my ink pad and always start off. The image and I'll go in a circular motion just to get the color on my page on my uh, layer of the card so this does take a little bit of time to build up the color and you don't have to put an awful lot on because it's surprising how much is actually there that will contrast against the white by the time you finish so that doesn't look like an awful lot, but it'll be more than you think it is. So I'll just keep going over that. Always start off, off the actual piece so you don't get those big blotchy pieces, big blotches of colour on your card where you want to 
go. So I've used um, I've used the Pearl Party, but I've left sort of a few patches in between as well. And those I will just go over with a crumb cake. So if you have another brush, use another brush or you can use a sponge or a dauber or something as well to get the same effect. So this is just a little bit of crumb cake. You can probably hardly even see it. That'll just tie in with the soft suede and add a little bit of extra colour. Now, for the next part, I will stamp the image. I'm not sure what this flower is. It might be a calendula or something like that. I'm actually going to stamp most of the image there. This one I went over a little bit, but I decided I actually wanted the full image. So now that I've stamped that, I can peel this off gently and gently peel it off my card there and remove all of this now from the back as well. So you can see the masking tape hasn't actually damaged my cardstock at all, but if you were to press down a bit harder it might stick a little bit too much and it could tear it a little bit. And you can probably reuse this masking tape again as well. So you'll see it didn't really look like too much when I had uh, brushed it on, but it really has come up significantly. Then you want to take your paper trimmer. So this is actually 14.8 long, but we need it 13.8. So I will just snip a little bit off the top so I don't have that white line showing. And I'll actually need my other trimmer for this because I don't have enough length on this one. So I'm going to line it up at 13.8 actually. Yes, it will be 13.8. And using the cutting blade, I've just snipped the bottom off that. So you will need to do this if I did cut it at the right size you would have had those white lines and that wouldn't look really good. So then when you have trimmed your card stock up then you can grab a greeting of your choice and stamp it. There we go. So if you do have some marker pens, um, oh, excuse me, I will just, I should have sat that, I should have left it where it was before, I'll just sit that there. Um, you'll notice that I've got a few little flecks here. Now you can use a spotted stamp or if you can get your little marker and you use the thick end of your marker and you just get close to your card and you just gently flick it in the lid and that will create that little splatter pattern on there as well. So that's a little tip for you which gives you a nice extra little bit of texture so you can see I went a little bit darker on this one and I probably could have got rid of my jaggedy bit there 
but never mind. I could have used the other side and just torn a little bit more off that so it wasn't as severe. So you can use whichever side of your tear that you want that you like the look of better. And then to assemble the card, just folded my card base in half. Get a nice crease with the bone folder and use your tear and tape or liquid glue or whatever you like to attach that first layer of soft suede and then once again attach your top layer onto your card. And voila, a simple card, a simple masking technique that gives you a little bit of extra dimension and depth to your card. I hope you've enjoyed that. Happy stamping and stay tuned for more. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. <music>